Tributes have been paid today to Steve Irwin, Australia's crocodile hunter who was killed by a stingray while filming a documentary on the Great Barrier Reef. A great showman and great conservationist, just one of those tributes, while the Australian Prime Minister called him a wonderful character. Sky's Matt Smith reports. G'day, I'm Steve Irwin. He was an Aussie export as famous as Foster's. But Steve Irwin was no ordinary wildlife presenter. His style was totally unique. Have a go at this whopper. Their venom is highly toxic. And his lust for life was immense. I can't stop, mate. I'm, just, I'm on fire. I wake up in the morning and I'm on fire. I just can't do an up. Come this way. Where's the show, The Crocodile Hunter, turned him into a worldwide phenomenon. But he was never far away from the Australia Zoo in Queensland, which he ran with his wife, Terry. She and the couple's two children were on a trekking holiday in Tasmania when they heard the news of his death. Steve Owen was killed during the underwater filming of his latest documentary off the coast of Cairns in North Queensland. The 44-year-old died after being struck in the heart by the barb of a stingray. Today the world has lost a great wildlife icon, a passionate conservationist and one of the proudest dads on the planet. He died what he did, he loved doing best. And he left this world in a happy and peaceful state of mind. For a man who made his name dicing with death, those stingray attacks are extremely rare and not usually fatal. With all the animals that Steve Irwin is known to wrestle and wrangle and carry on with, to go by a stingray is just ri almost ridiculous. As the hearse carrying Steve Irwin's body arrived at a hospital in Cairns, visitors at his Australia Zoo were just taking in the news. Oh my God. I said, oh, it can't be right. Oh, I think it's a tragedy. Like we were sort of talking before, I think he's a great Australian. He was a one-off character and he wasn't just a character for Australians, he was a character for lots of people around the world. Steve Owen was sometimes a controversial figure though. He was criticised after cradling his one-month-old son a metre away from a crocodile during a show at his zoo. But he rejected the accusation that it was any kind of stunt. That was a bad PR mistake, but he knew what he was doing. And as I say, it was a tradition there. His dad had held him next to the crocodile enclosure. Come on then. Come on then. There's little doubt that Steve Irwin's in-your-face approach made him a global star, but right up to his death, he never forgot his roots. I am the proudest Australian bloke on the face of the earth. And Australia is now a tamer place without him. Matt Smith, Sky News. Well, hundreds of you have been leaving your comments about Steve Irwin on the weblog. Let's kick off with Scott in London, who says, Steve was a big inspiration to me. I'm only 15, and I want to be like him when I grow up. He taught me so much about animals. Marette Bennett from South Africa posts this. I used to kill snakes and spiders. Steve showed me the monsters were actually gorgeous little beauties. Now I take them outside to live another day. Shirley from North Yorkshire posts, My family like him very much, not only because of his obvious love of animals, but also because he seems to be a lovely human being. And this from Glynis in Leicester, uh, writing, it says a lot about the man and his work. The topic of conversation in our office this morning was not Afghanistan, Iraq, terrorism, or anything else, but rather the passing of Steve Irwin. Katie from Chesterfield left us this message for Steve. I'm only seven years old. I really loved watching your shows, and I learned that animals are just like us. I'll miss you. Please add further comments to our weblog, sky.com slash news. We'll read some more out later. Well, coming up after the break with all the sport with John Day.